All right, serving episode six, uh, fish. 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 Yeah, that's what they eat. They eat some fish They for eat dinner. some fish. But the minister, Nancy, does not. She does not. She's a... Vegan. She's a vegan. She's not a... She's you were going to say a pescatarian. <laughs> what? Pescatarian only. It's fish. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's the opposite of what yeah. she is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... One thing we get in here that I found interesting is that Dorothy has zero memory of Gourmet Gauntlet. Um, so basically she's just completely blocked out everything connected to that time. Yeah, baby brain. You know, yeah, she, yeah, she calls it baby brain. But yeah, I don't know what else I would have expected. It makes perfect sense that she blocked everything else out around that time. I just... Hearing it made me go, oh yeah, well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like she can just, you know, selectively put, yeah, remember. put a blindfold <laughs> off, to, like just like Jericho stuff. Yeah, and yeah. then remember everything else. Like Sean was gone during the time when Jericho died. Like, yeah, it would make perfect sense. She would not remember him going that. But then her watching the episode at the end, remembering, ooh, yeah, yeah, no fun, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, she's she's going to have to come to terms with this eventually. Eventually. And then what? Where does Jericho go from there? Like, I, I, you know, it would be interesting for her to remember and then reject Jericho as her son. Mm. And be like, get that thing away from me. Yeah, I've kind of thought about that a few times throughout the show. Because it, he's not... I mean, we don't have proof that she, he is genetically her son. So we still don't really know. No, we don't know anything about Anything genetics. about what exactly Jericho is. Like if he's a another human baby that's been substituted or like we thought maybe he was the baby doll turned into a human. That wouldn't work for the but, DNA test he got. The baby's definitely somebody. Yeah. But who we don't know. Mm -hmm. Not that woman who had the brush. No. That we're sure of. That we're sure of. <laughs> That's the only person character. we have ruled out on Earth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, 3.5 billion women to go. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Get there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, okay. So, I just, yeah, I thought the Gourmet Gauntlet thing was, was cool because mm -hmm. it's just something that brought to my uh, mind. Uh, that hole in the basement is still fucking there. You would yeah. think rich ass people like this would repair it. Would have that thing filled in. Sure. Pretty quickly. I mean, go get some dirt. Yeah. And I fill mean, that thing in at least. <laughs> well, Sean starts Isn't there, like, to a try crack to fill pipe it. There or something is. in there, so that needs to be repaired. Yeah, it, they they need to get that repaired as well as the hole. If this guy itself. can get, if, if they can get like a block party if they if he can get all of these delicacies shipped to his house yeah if he can get all this shit done all the time he can if he it. they get they okay they had the entire house baby proofed <laughs> yeah like, god these like baby proof contractor came over his creep hitting on lamb and they did an estimation they brought all the stuff they're installing it you couldn't get the fucking hole in the ground fixed by this point I mean, why is that thing not fixed? This isn't his wine cellar. He's down there all the time. This isn't like some area of the house where they never go to. So it's kind of like, eh, I'll get to it when I get to it. It's like, he's down there all the fucking time. Sure. But I mean, I think the hole is meant to be obviously symbolic. Of I don't care. The, Fill the hole in. But it's, it's, it's the same thing with Jericho, right? Like they have this problem of Leanne not remembering that they all kind of look away from. And sort of like do everything except address the actual issue. And it seems like it's the same thing with this hole where he's putting wood planks over it. Yeah. I mean, at least he's starting to try and do something. But yeah, they should definitely have had it fixed by now. A hundred. They have the hiccups. This is oh. going to be fun. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Dorothy finds the recording of Leanne being chased. Mm -hmm. um, so she confronts her about that. To which Leanne basically just sloughs it off even though she's afraid in the park then she outright states that she's not afraid anymore mm -hmm. which doesn't really match up with how she's acting not like five minutes ago so that was kind of odd to me because 
I don't know where the flip happened in her where all of a sudden she's now just unafraid when she was like, I don't even want to go outside. I'm afraid. And then she's like confronting her about it. And she's like, it's fine. I'm not afraid anymore. It's well, like, it, yeah, I think the people in the park, you know, they obviously... They got her back. people are on her side. But she already so. knew that, right? No, she didn't know that already. By this point, she did. She was getting attacked, and those guys fucking well, bowed yeah, to her by feet. by this point, yeah. But That's I what I'm saying. Before that. So this episode... No, because her in change. this episode, in the beginning. Dorothy's like, let's go out. And she's like, no, I'm cold, and I don't want to go. And then mm-hmm. she's sitting out, and she's all worried. Mm-hmm. But then Leanne, or Dorothy goes and checks the recording, sees that she was attacked, goes and confronts her, and she's like, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. And it's like, you were just afraid of something. Mm-hmm. I see what where, where, yeah. where did the flip happen? I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, but I, obviously, my explanation would be that it has sunk in, you know, that the people in the park are on her side. So she's feeling a little bit more powerful because obviously in this episode she is, you know, standing her ground and being really aggressive and, you know, towards the minister that's there. She should have had another interaction with the homeless people in some capacity in between that scene. Even the scene with Julian when they're smoking pot when he comes to check on her and she's like, thank you for checking on me. That could have been a like, he's checking on me. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, oh, I, they're on my side. I could have taken that. But there's just nothing there. So it goes from her being paranoid outside to her being, like, you know, stoic. You know, like, I'm not afraid of shit. Right. And it's like, who are you trying to fool? <laughs> so I don't know if that's just her telling Dorothy to, so she'll leave it alone. I'm gonna, mm. I'm going to go more with that because it just feels weird to me. But, yeah, she does have, like, even when she's going after Nancy at the at the dinner table, she seems to have, I don't know, taken the power back. And she was throughout this whole half of the first se- of of this season. She is frightened and you know paranoid as all hell. And then here we at the midway, and she gets this kind of other cult following and now she's just you know yeah she's propped up so i I like that she's taking the power back but um she's she's really going at it now so now is she gonna become like a problem is she gonna become the villain again well that's what we thought was gonna happen this season was her turning i really didn't want that to happen like yeah the because she's got like possessed right but um, I, I don't know. I mean, she, I think it's it's going to be interesting because if she does become the villain, I don't think it's uh, how she'll view herself. I think she's going to be doing things that in her mind are the best for the family, but they aren't uh, what they would like actually choose. Like she's, you know, encouraging Sean to take the job and saying that it'll be different, but he doesn't want to. Um, so I think that she's going to be pushing things on them that they're not, uh, that they don't want. And in that way, be a villain. But you know, whether she's going to start killing people um, and that type of thing, I guess we'll have to see. I, I could definitely see her doing it. I think they definitely set up that Sean is going to take the job because Dorothy says to Leanne that he's easily suggestible mm-hmm. about the religion thing. Um, that, well, yeah, and then I mean. Obviously, Leanne then tells him that God wasn't the one that brought Jericho back, which puts a huge, you know... Doubt. Doubt into his mind about who exactly or what brought his son back. So what brought his son back? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's the devil or maybe even more likely, like, some other god. Like, not the Christian god. But right. some other entity, right? Some Some, some other power that's bringing people back to life. Yeah. So I could see that. Um, I don't Payment. Know if it's gonna be as yeah, as black and white as like God and the devil. It's Payman mm-hmm. or Black Philip mm-hmm. or Kazuza. Only one of those three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's yeah. Black Philip then. Yeah, I, I like that. I, I think that's cool that it's like, it's it's not as easy as the devil or God is 
the Christians or whoever had known, right? It's like more of some other kind of deity yeah. or demon, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what was his name? Like, um, Abalam. 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 <laughs> Remember? Abalam. Yeah. Last Exorcism. Oh, yeah. Abalam. Abalam. Mm. Can't believe I pulled that one out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's I was like, specific. am I going to get that one? Demon. Yeah. I remember demon name as well. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I liked that she caught that the minister was refusing the food. I don't think she's part of the cult, though. I do think she's a part of a cult. The church, which is a fucking cult. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she's a member of the... Hot party. take, everybody. Hot take. I don't, yeah, I don't think she's part of the cult, but... Um. No, but she did abuse her dementia-ridden mother. So, yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty fucked up. Pro tip. We haven't done one of these in a while. Person. But if someone gets into, like, any kind of religion, especially, like, like organized church shit, like, Christians or whatever... If they get into that really heavy in their later life, they've done something fucked up. Mm. Like, really fucked up. <laughs> they're trying to repent for. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're like, doubling down, fucking covering all their bases, making sure. Because they feel bad for that shit. They're like, and they're uh, like, I, gotta, I from... don't want to die and go to hell. Yeah. Like Betty from The Mummy. Sure. Or, the, you know, they're just trying to get in the good graces of their family again, or they're trying to stay their hand from fucking, stave their hand from fucking doing something terrible well, again, there's or a t yeah, whatever. I mean, but they've done something <laughs> fucked up. There's also people that are getting into religion later in life, not because they've done something fucked up, but because they're afraid of their mortality. And that's pushing up on them, so they want to, you know, have Sure, to but that's, no, that's not what I'm saying, though. That is a different thing. So, like, yes, there will be older people in their 60s or their 70s that are, like, starting. They know they have 10, 20, 30 years left at best. And they Then they start to get a little more open to religion. And they might start going to church a little bit and this and that. So they start, like, tapping their toe inside of religion. Like, all right, you know, let me check this out. And, and they'll get into it to a degree. Mm -hmm. But if they're, like we'll say 50, late 40s, and they all of a sudden become like a hardcore Jesus freak. <laughs> and they like everything <laughs> is like all about God now. They have done some fucked things. <laughs> <laughs> like fucked. <laughs> fucked. <laughs> like rape, molestation, oh murder, whatever you want. Yeah, all anything, the bad shit. Like the really the bad best. shit. The hardcore stuff. <laughs> Beating your mom with dementia yeah, while she... Oh, up. man. I mean... Unfortunately... You don't get much lower abuse. than that. Yeah. It happens a lot. Oh, sure. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Abuse to elderly people with, with illnesses by mm -hmm. caretakers is super common. It's super sad, too. I would never, no, ever do no, that, man. No. I, that's... Yeah, that's hardcore. That's some dark shit. But Leanne is able to tell that she's, you know, that she fucked up. And I, I do think she's just trying to kind of, you know, have a power play over her. Because it's like she thinks she could be a part of the cult. But I don't think she is by the end of this episode. With how she leaves, I, I just don't see it being that she's a cult member. Something we don't talk about enough on this show, outside of, I mean, maybe Dorothy because the actress that plays Dorothy does such a fantastic job all the time. Um, and I do think everyone in this is really good. But I think, uh, just a quick shout out to that. I think the woman who plays Nancy, especially in her last moment, oh, when yeah. they get the close-up on her face, and all that is it's fantastic yeah. acting. Yeah, I so, was really impressed by it. I wanted to point that out. But um, as far as like where we're going from here... We called a lot. I mean, I, I yeah. called the homeless people bowing down to her and pledging themselves to her and becoming, like, their cult. Like, this is all... I don't know if that's, like, oh, my God, whoa, <laughs> you called that kind of thing. I'm good at calling things you on are. these shows. 
Um, I think this is the natural progression of this show. I don't. I don't know where we go from here. I, I mean, yeah, with with Leanne trying to push Sean out of the house, with Dorothy's like faith in herself and her own memories starting to fade. Julian, I I still don't. Uh, I don't really understand his role in this season yet. Mm. I'm not seeing it, and we only have four episodes left in this season. And these are short episodes. Uh, we're not a ton can happen uh, for character progression by this point. Um, I almost feel like they shot themselves in the foot. It's almost like the writers in the writer in the writers' room were like almost nodding to themselves, being like, "I liked you better when you were drunk." when you were right. drunk they like we don't know what to do them. with you yeah. right now mm -hmm. he's he's kind of useless mm. right now and I, and I don't like it because i really liked him mm. in the last two seasons and then they just kind of make him do something that is super fucking and like pretty unforgivable to me kissing leanne just to take advantage of her trust so that he can you know kind of go behind her back and and try to prove that she's uh, there's something wrong yes. with her or, or what's going on. It's just I don't know playing with her feelings like that is super fucked up after everything they've went through, yeah. um, and that's really all he's done this season. It's just kind of he comes over, he you know mooches off some wine, even though he's rich himself, and uh, he's just useless. So I don't know what to do with him, and his girlfriend is just not being a thing mm -hmm. toby's so sporadic i feel like it's leanne dorothy and sean i mean there's yeah. like really the only characters this season that matter I, I don't see any other characters having much of a substantial role toby's little girlfriend comes in gets her finger cut off she's gone mm -hmm. you know you've got the, the dudes who come over and put the shit in they're gone the, the baby proofing stuff they're gone mm -hmm. you've got the homeless people but they don't really have much of a character they're like background sure. stuff so Everything so far is just these three central characters. So really, as a natural progression, as you were saying, like, where do we go from here? It, so Dorothy's going to be wrestling with her memories of Jericho. That's going to be Dorothy's main focus. Sean's going to be wrestling with this idea of whether or not he should leave the family, which I think ultimately he will decide to do, but probably be, will come home early. Mm -hmm. to something going on. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, and then, you know, Leanne is just going to fall deeper down into this hole yeah. and maybe even use the homeless people for nefarious means. Sure. What to get, I, I don't know. Maybe, row, you know, she, rise them up to take down the cult yeah. that's just hunting after that's her. That's what I would see is her trying to go after the cult, like to kind of fight back. And using this new army that she might be able to build up. <clears throat> One thing that we're kind of forgetting, because this is not something that's very prevalent in the show, even though it is the basis of the show, but it's not something that they really ever talk about. Um, and also, she has a body in the walls. We almost <laughs> always forget about that. There's a dead body behind mm -hmm. Leanne's wall. But the thing is... Because we don't really know how it works, we don't know exactly what to say about it, but Leanne has some kind of a power, some kind of a gift. I mean, she brought Jericho back from the dead and was sure. able to kind of turn him back into a doll mm -hmm. again. So, what, like, what are her powers? Like, what is she able to do? I, I'm not really sure on that and, and how maybe that might work into the later uh, episodes here of her you know, being able to bring people back from the dead. Because as far as, like, her aunt and uncle from before, the family died and they got her and, and they were keeping her. But, like, what do they want her for exactly? Like, what, sh they get her back, but then immediately send her to a different family. Like Right. I don't know what that is, if there's some type of, like, mission that they're on to help people or I mean I can see that they you know they feel that they've been given this second gift of life so maybe they're trying to devote you know devote their time to helping others but, but as far as Leanne's powers power. we don't really have parameters on what they are we know she can bring people back from the dead 
She's been able to, you know, like read minds, obviously. She yeah. seems to be able to kind of add luck, this. some level of luck, and make things happen. Um, she, you know, so there's yeah. there's a lot of like random things that she the can finger do. Scene. Uh huh. That we that we don't quite know, like the extent of it, and if it's Lan herself or if it's a force working through her. Do you think it's more likely that it's a force that's working through her and not just Lan on her own? But so, do you think she's a Jedi? What are you saying? Yes. <laughs> she can, yeah. She's a Jedi. Yeah, she can read minds. It's a good point. She reads the minister's mind in this, and that's how she knows what she did. Um, and yeah, she manipulates the Toby situation with his girlfriend and the finger from afar. So yeah, she, I mean, this is what I'm saying. We get these like minor glimpses into like what her power is, but we don't know where it comes from. We don't know like to what extent she can use it. Like, we don't know why she uses it. Yeah. She seems to use it against that girl because she's pissed off at her. She uses this against that guy, or that guy, that girl, Nancy, because she's pissed off at her. Mm -hmm. But did she read her mind before she was like that? Or did she read her mind because she thought maybe she was a cult member, so then she was, like, digging into her mind? And is she able to dig into anyone's mind, or does she have to be upset? Like... But yeah, I think, I mean, I think her powers are heightened when she's emotional. Uh, that's one of the reasons why they don't, you know, the, the cult doesn't have them eating super tasty food. They have to eat very bland things and live a really, like, austere life. Yeah. And I think that that's because they get too kind of out of control when they're hyper-emotional. So I do think there's a link there. Yeah. But. So, yeah. Those are my guesses. Mm-hmm. She'll expand on the cult, mm -hmm. use them for bad reasons. Bad reasons. And, you know, I already said my piece. Anything more? No. I, yeah, I feel the same about all those things, so I don't have anything else to add. All right. Till next week. Bye. Bye.